Hi, and welcome back to Studio Tamara, the Mystical Paintress. Today, I would like to talk to you about a special subject and something that is very special to me, and that would be doing pet portraits. Um, I'd like to send a shout out to all our dog trainers um, out there, pet trainers, like Big Chuck McBride, um, and Ra, come. Come. This is Ra. Up, up, up. This is Ra Doberman. He is my model for this painting here. And um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my pet portraits today. Uh, I use oil, I'm an oil artist. And you know, pets hold a very special place in our heart. They are family members. So this was a poodle I had named Matisse. And he was in five homes and abused. And I took him in and I remember one day in the summer, this little bird landed on the bird bath and he was so gentle, he went up and sniffed it and I got a photo of it. So this is a moment in time. And even though he is now gone, this is a very special painting to me. So, um, yeah, so I have all my babies painted and framed and they are on the wall in my house. So that's Matisse. Can you guys see okay? I wonder how the lighting is here for this. I wonder if I turn this light on, it makes it, can you see it a little better? So there's Matisse. The next one I would like to show you is another painting I did of Matisse. This one's a lot more impressionistic. So if any of you out there are interested in having a pet portrait done, um, I do photos or paintings from photos. This one was really cool. Do you see all the colors in there? Yeah, I love color. I like to push color, so. Uh, okay, here's my kitty Mimsy, also no longer with me. This is a portrait I did of him. And I just think it's fun to share some of the pet portraits. Mona Lisa, she is taking a nap in the bedroom right now. But this is my Mona Lisa kitty. And I have not painted this guy yet, but come here a minute, you. This is my little buddy Da Vinci. And he's a very special kitty. He was born with a congenital issue called a congenital pericardial diaphragmatic hernia, where the wall between his heart and his intestines had, has a hole. So he needs a major medical procedure Wednesday. So I've been taking lots of great photos. Whoa, hey you, say hi. Say hi, pretty boy. That's a good boy. Okay, go on your little bed. Um, you know, we love them, they're family, and when they're no longer with us, it's really cool to have a painting. This is Jake, my Cocker Spaniel, no longer with me, love Jake. Here is Moon, no longer with me. Kanzu Amun Nubbins, the voodoo jinx, a barn kitty from Dexter who, boy, he was loved. Here's another one of the little poodle Matisse. This is a fun holiday painting that I did. And so this is Kelly. She was a mix I rescued years ago. She's been gone for over a decade, Kelly. Jake and Kelly are people names. I did not name them. That was their name when I got them. So we're gonna try and pick this little kitty up again. Come here, you. Come here, baby. There we go. There's my boy. Are you my baby? Mm. I love him so much. Okay. These are some practice paintings I've done. There's a kitty. There's another kitty. Lab. And this one I wanted to show you is really fun because I painted this one out on my back deck and it's not a realistic painting like the other ones, but in this one, my dog and my cat 
and this little chickadee were all sitting on the deck by me. And this is a griffin statue that I have um, in the garden. And I just decided to do a really impressionistic, crazy, fun, live painting and just capture that moment. It's a little too dark. It's definitely not something you'd enter in a show, but Matisse, Mona Lisa, and the Chickadee, just kind of fun. Uh, this one, I really wanna share with you. This is a plein air painting, meaning I did it live on location at a farm in Dexter, Jenny's farm, and it's a horse. And the horse was actually running towards me while I painted it. So super interesting when you, when you do paintings like that. I also, here's Ra, right at this painting, I did here of Ra. Here's a little color study of Ra when he was younger. Lots of paintings of Ra Doberman. He's my, my buddy. I also do, like here's someone's pet, pet bunny. I did the bunny rabbit. So you can do all kinds of different things. There's really no limit on, on painting. Um, animals clearly are something I love. I've recently gotten my um, National Wildlife Rehabilitator Certification and I am now certified in every state in the country to rehabilitate small animals. Um, currently working on getting the raptor license, so that will be very, very exciting. Anyways, just wanted to share some of my commissions with you. Um, I Let me grab my book. Hold on. I believe I do have a chapter on painting animals I talk about in my book. Let's see. I do. Yeah, there's paint outs. And so I do talk about, you know, painting animals and um, I've got a step by step of a deer. It's the same process with a deer, um, a dog, a cat, you know, it's just you go through the same process. So my book is Plain Air Painting Tips and Tales by Tamara Ovalds, available on Amazon if you're interested. So that's about it. Now I'm going to get painting. I've got some commissions to do. Holidays are coming. So if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It's free. Thank you to my Patreon followers and have a super day. Bye.